Mystery on the Cape today as the FAA issued a temporary flight restriction and nothing happened. It leads industry experts to wonder why the government told flights around Cape Canaveral Space Force Station to stay away. Hmm. Our Space Coast Bureau Chief Scott Heidler tells us that those experts say it appears the military is getting ready for a big test. The Russians have them, as do the Chinese. We're talking about hypersonic missiles. This missile is going to be going up five times the speed of sound as it does screams down range uh, heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. There's a deep history of missile and weapons testing on the Cape. Stephen Clark with Ars Technica says it appears the military is getting ready for a test launch of a hypersonic missile carried out by the Army. They do have several days on the range here uh, at the Cape to try to get this launch off in the next few days. Everything has to be just right. Very little room for error as the missile will be traveling at such high speeds. Most of the missiles we see launched from the Cape go up into space. This is going to take more of a, a lower altitude, more horizontal trajectory downrange. So that's kind of unique as well. The Army has officially announced that they've deployed a long range hypersonic weapon to the Cape in February. Clark says that all signs point to a possible launch Wednesday when the FAA issued a temporary flight restriction near the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. It went from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. It doesn't appear to have happened. A test in March was called off due to a battery issue. It's critical that the Army get the new hypersonic weapon system tested out because both China and Russia have them. And with the new technology, if there's a test failure, it could set them back months, even a year. It's important from a offensive aspect. We can use it against our adversaries. And it's also important from a defensive aspect. We need to know how to defend against it. The people shoot at us. And part of the defense against these new weapons also being launched from the Cape into space to better track the smaller, faster missiles. The military is also beefing up their defensive capabilities. So we've seen satellites launched uh, in recent months uh, from here in the U.S. going up with missions to test technology that will be used to detect hypersonic missiles. On the Space Coast, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.